Welcome to You News. It's Tuesday, March 12th. I'm Andrea Linares. As Venezuela's blackout continues, the United States is removing all embassy personnel from that country. The opposition leader, Juan Guaido, declared a state of emergency and announced measures against Cuba to help weaken Nicolás Maduro, who on Monday attempted to explain how the U.S. has supposedly caused that blackout. Lorraine Gassides has more on this ongoing crisis. Dissected the Juan Guaido backed by his supporters tried to get trucks the events and has a very different account as to what occurred and we will be speaking to a journalist as well. Now changing topics, more countries and more than 20 airlines are grounding all Boeing 737 MAX 8 airplanes. The same model that crashed in Ethiopia, killing all passengers on board. Some leaders here in the U.S. are also calling for airlines to ground the plane while the investigation is underway. Senator Elizabeth Warren is calling on the FAA to ground these airplanes right here in the U.S. And so far, Boeing has issued the following statement. Safety is... Let's turn to Washington, D.C. According to a senior Democratic lawmaker, former Vice President Joe Biden will run for... In Washington, there's a new sign of a divide among congressional Democrats about whether to attempt impeaching President Trump. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi now says the president isn't worth it. Janet Rodriguez is live with the very latest. Janet, what do you have? <laughs> those results come in. And coming up next, House Democrats introduce... And welcome back to You News. Today, Democrats in the House of Representatives introduced a legislation to provide permanent legal protections and a path to citizenship for dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. We're joined now by Luis Leiva. In other news, a former Democratic Congressman Beto O'Rourke is, is expecting a spike in migrants trying to cross the southern border over the next few months. The increased migration flow, according to Border Patrol officials, is stifling their ability to do their jobs. Juan Carlos Gonzalez has the story. California, where the state's Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, has been sparring with President Trump over his support for a new shelter in San Diego that will focus on temporarily housing migrants and asylum seekers. But as Jaime Garcia reports, the tension is over much more than just a shelter. Next, a tragic accident to you news. For many college students, the month of March is all about spring break, but it also has its share of dangers. In Cancun, Mexico, a teenager fell to his death. He's from Michigan, from a hotel balcony. Now, as Mike Interiano explains, some of the most popular spring break destinations are cracking down, trying to keep students safe. That's is still under private investigation, according to Mexico police. The hotel where the couple was staying decided not to comment on the tragic incident. Altai will be buried in Iraq, where many of his relatives still live. Andrea, back to you. Be careful. Thanks so much. And now to a manhunt in Texas after someone threw a rock from a highway overpass that killed a young mother in a car below with her children and boyfriend. Bizarre story. You're used to seeing horses at the rodeo, but not on the road. A Texas woman caught on video a horse riding in a truck bed, apparently at a high speed. One witness claimed the driver was going at approximately 70 miles an hour. We celebrate the birthday of the invention that the Let's now go to Annabelle Sedano with What's Trending. Annabelle, what do you have for us? I hear Facebook is in the news again. Happy birthday as well. And now let's go to Aranza Loizaga. She has an update on everything to come in hour two of You News. Aranza. Hey, a major new bill has been introduced. Thank you so much, Aranza. You're my partner in crime today in pink. Yes. <laughs> and coming up next, if you've ever wondered whether pets can legally adhere now to a story about planning for your pet's future. Have you ever wondered what happens to pets when their owners pass away? How about if it's possible to include them in a legal will or testament to ensure their future safety? Well, Xiomara Gonzalez Govea has some answers for you. Check it out. Literally, oh, my dog. Well, I do consider my dog as my daughter. I have to say, Andrea, that Animal Legal Defense Fund is a social group advocating for the legal rights of animals, so they're not considered just a property or piece of property, legally speaking, of course. For now, pet will is clearly a great option to have to protect our animals. So, Andrea, back to you. Regreso contigo. It is, but I must add that I don't have a pet, at least so far, so I, at least I don't have to be worried about this for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Thanks so much for all those details. See you, madam. And before we close, check this out. A man struggling to get his life together has less to real soon.
That's all the time we have left for the first hour of you news, but stay tuned. We have much more information coming up.